All right, hi everyone. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different to my usual videos. Um, this is gonna be a how-to guide, and it's gonna tell you how to successfully bag and board uh, issues of Sonic the Comic. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is a couple of years ago, I decided I wanted to bag and board my collection of Sonic the Comics. The problem was, a couple of years ago, when I first decided to do this, um, not many people had actually bagged and boarded Sonic the Comics. Um, it, it wasn't, there wasn't really that much information about it, and the people that had, the best advice they could give was that they had to look for uh, certain comic book supplies. And this made it very difficult to actually track down accurate information. So, I can actually illustrate that to you now. This is a typical issue of Sonic the Comic. With the exception of summer specials and poster mags and some spin-offs, every issue of Sonic the Comic is this size. You know, it didn't change at all during its publication run. Here's the problem. Here is a comic I purchased a couple of months ago. This is Archie's Sonic the Hedgehog. And you'll see already there's a huge size difference. And here is a comic I purchased back in 2010. Notice how the Archie and Dark Horse's The Terminator are the exact same size and dimensions. Aside from maybe the number of pages in there, they're the same size. And this is true for pretty much every single comic you can buy today. There are one or two exceptions, but the majority of comic books are this size. So if you go into a comic book store and look in their comic book supplies section, you'll be bombarded with materials for this kind of size comic books. Maybe gold and silver age, but you will be very, you'll find it very hard to find something for this. So what do you do? Well, fortunately, there's a comic out there which is exactly the same size and dimensions as Sonic the Comic, and it's a lot more popular, and it also has comic book supplies made specifically for it. And that comic is Fleetway's 2000 AD, and some of you might have called it Judge Dredd at some point in your life. So what you're looking for is comic book supplies for 2000 AD. But there's a problem, and this is what I fell trapped to when I first decided to bag and board my comic books. It's fine in that it did a good job, but it wasn't perfect. The problem is 2000 AD comes in, uh, had a... Basically, 2000 AD changed the size of their, of their various issues. They were slightly larger than they are now. And the, I couldn't find any information as to which size you were looking for, so I went with the old style and it wasn't correct. And this comic in particular here is bagged and boarded using old style 2000 AD materials. And I can show you what one looks like with new materials. Yeah. Now you might notice the difference already. Um, this one here, you can clearly see the board around the comic. It almost sits in there like a frame. It doesn't move very much and it's very secure. Whereas the comic, which is uh, using old style 2000 AD, it can move about in there and it's not that secure. And the board itself doesn't cover the bag fully. So, yeah, this one, it's kind of good, but it's not as good as this one by a long way. So if you do make the mistake and go for old style 2000 AD, or old style is all you can find, don't worry, it's still good, and it'll still offer you some really good protection. But what you want to be looking for is new size or new style 2000 AD. So long as it says that, it should be absolutely fine. And as you can see from this size here as well, just get a ruler and measure along here and you're probably looking for, you know, just slightly over and um, slightly higher as well because don't forget there's a flap on here for what a typical Sonic the Comic Dimensions is. So if the retailer just lists the actual dimensions of the bags and boards, you'll have a pretty good idea. But so long as the retailer says it's new style 2000 AD, you should be fine. So now you know what you're looking for, what are you looking for? Ha! Huh, because it's not that simple again. You want to be looking for comic book bags, and I'm just going to grab a comic book bag. Now the thing with comic book bags is they come in different styles and different materials, and what you want to be looking for is an acid-free comic book bag. And it should say on it if it is, but for something like Sonic the Comic, something which is acid-free is more than sufficient. 
Now, why do you want acid free? Well, the thing with uh, material like plastic is it's made of various chemicals which paper doesn't like. And over time, it can actually wear out the coloring and wash out the color of the of the comic book, and that's not good. After many years of being in storage, you could come and discover that your comics have slightly faded, or might have even suffered damage because of the material, because of the chemicals seeping into the paper. So you want acid-free materials. Um, you can get chemically inert materials like mylar, but you will need to have them custom made. And for Sonic the Comics that is going to cost an obscene amount of money and it's not worth it. So something which is like acid-free comic book bags, new size 2000 AD is more than sufficient. And you also want a backing board as well. And again, you're looking for ones which are acid-free because again, the, material, the chemicals which you use to make cardboard can damage paper, so you want properly made acid-free or... Um, anything which says like it's virgin cardboard but obviously look on proper um, comic book supply stores for this stuff um, backing boards will be will be fine uh, acid acid free new size 2000 2000 AD they'll do okay and backing boards the thing that you'll notice is there's a rough side and a smooth side you want the comic to rest on the smooth side and let's just take out this comic book and Oh yeah, something I'm going to show you here. See the tape? Oh, look at that. Look at that, I ripped the tape. Oh no. But that's okay because I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm going to try and get this comic book out. Get rid of that tape. Okay, so let's take the comic book out. And there are many ways to actually bag and board. This is how I like doing it, just because it's a little bit safer. Lay the comic book on the smooth side of the, of the board and then lift up the flap of the bag. Make sure it's aligned correctly and then just slide it in like that. And there you have it. And already it looks a lot better. It's not moving about. Um, eventually after a while it will settle in there, the air will filter out. And yeah, I mean, look at the difference already from the one from the bag and from the bag and body used earlier. It's much more secure. It's much stronger, and it's going to preserve it a lot better than the other one did. But that's not to say the others are bad. The others are fine. I mean, they've lasted in there for oh, getting on for maybe six to seven years now, and they're still in really, really good condition. But anyway, um, I mentioned tape. So, what tape do you want to use? This is the tape I use, and a lot of other comic book collectors say that it's probably the best for comic books. It's called Scotch Tape, and I use Scotch Magic Tape. And the reason being is it's not that transparent to see through. You know, there's a bit of, you know, you can probably see as I put my finger underneath it there. It's clear, and then it, then it doesn't become that. And the reason for that is I kind of don't want the tape to become too invisible, so I can't see it when I'm moving delicate paper around it, just to give me an extra heads up. But with regards to tape, you want to break off quite a small amount, really. Not too much. Certainly not as much as was on the other comic. Then you fold the lip down like this. Now, with that other comic, I had the tape quite square on. What you actually want to do is... This will be quite difficult looking through a camera filter here. There's a bit of dust on there. That's okay. You want to put it almost like a diamond shape, so it's sort of at an angle, and then what happens is, say you want to open it, it will open without tearing, and this can greatly, this is, this is so much better, it prolongs the life of your actual bags and boards, and it will just makes, it just means that you don't need to re-tape stuff every time you want to open up a comic book. And there you have it, we've bagged and boarded a comic book, and that's how you do it. So you're looking for, so just to recap, you're looking for new size 2000 AD, acid free bags, acid free boards, and that is perfectly fine for Sonic the Comics. And now I'm just going to show you what it actually looks like when you've bagged and boarded a uh, huge amount of issues versus doing it with the incorrect materials. Okay, so as you can see here, um, all these issues going up to about here have been bagged using New Style 2000 AD bags and boards. 
These ones have been using the old style, and you can probably see they're not they're not quite as good. You can sort of see this jag the jagged there. Whereas these are also almost smooth and perfectly uniformed. And if I do this, you know, compared to here, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look as good. And it isn't. Um, the reason being is these are much more secure in there. The comic doesn't move around as much. It's the actual cardboard which is doing the movement. Whereas here, the comics can move around a little bit more, which is quite bad when you're transporting the box around. Or if you want to try and get a comic book. It also means that it's good for actually um, indexing and archiving. You can actually check out stuff easier. You don't need to put as much weight or force on the comic books. Whereas on the ones that have the wrong bags and balls, you have to really sort of get in there and move stuff around. So yeah. Um, oh, and the reason why it sort of looks a bit weird here is this is the point where they start giving away giant free gifts. So obviously they don't close up as well as the ones here did which didn't give away any free gifts. Okay so I just thought I'd finish showing you the the comics which have now been correctly bagged and boarded. Um, this is fine. This will this is the best materials you can get to bag and board Sonic the comics and it's as far as I can tell it's the correct materials to get as well. So the basic rules is you're looking for acid free bags and boards new size 2000 AD and that's, that will be more than sufficient to bag and board Sonic the Comics. So hopefully you won't make the same mistake that I did when I first attempted this and it'll uh, serve you well for a couple of years. Oh, and um, every uh, seven, five to seven, seven to ten years you will want to change the bags because the bags don't last forever because there is still some chemicals in there. It's not an exact science, but the advice is depending on the quality of the bags, five to seven or seven to ten years, you want to change the bags and boards around. So because it was time for me to change these, it was pretty good time opportunity to make this video for you. Okay, so I hope this has helped you guys. Thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.